sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email. The positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall, the positive way you show up in the planet. Now, with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. All right. Now, before I move on, right, I was picking up this energy of, uh, you know, I don't like the saying go with the flow, but I get it. Right. Let things happen naturally. Like you can't control the the current of the tide, like some more Neptune type of energy. So either someone is tapping into some sort of gift that they have or they're very emotional at this time. Now. I'm not the sharpest knife in the door, but I feel like this has something to do with somebody uh, being at the crossroads, right? And that's going to resonate different for everyone. Some of you, you are literally at a turning port point and or somebody actually went to the crossroads. So we got thunder and lightning that came out. We're talking about Shango energy. Now, of course, you could be in a we um, in a place where the weather is um, sporadic, okay? Um, but this is giving me very much something that is out of whoever this is control. This is something that is unexpected, all right? What y'all being here, we're definitely speaking about somebody that's called out to do something, okay? This could be... Um, I'm picking up the energy of an alpha, rather if it's male or female. All right. So this has something to do with fate playing out. OK, for destiny to be here, that means somebody took accountability and responsibility in the past or they're being guided or ushered to do something. Right. The first house is significant. Maybe this is affecting your first house. OK. Um, or whoever this is that's involved and or this is affecting the way someone looks. OK, the way they see themselves. Of course, or the way others see them, this is about either a foolish action or somebody taking a leap of faith and trusting in this new beginning. Now, this could also be an indication of travel. Some of you, you're being called to a different place. And or someone else is. This is something that is predestined in time. All right. So, you know, I got to warn people. I got a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone. A wannabe me, but try and do it better than me. An English professor, a WhatsApp bandit, and a voodoo high priest. A priestess all floating through that comment section. But also got a lot of love. That voodoo high priest or priestess is promising to get your love back. For a small fee of $39.99. All you got to do is sign your life away on the dotted line. Do not fall for the okie doke people. If you have to bend someone's will for them to be with you or for you to be with them, they don't need you and you definitely don't need them. This is past, present, or future energies. Parts may resonate with you, parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. This could be somebody in your environment, someone thinking of you, you are thinking of them. An ex, a co-worker, a passed over loved one, you may or may not know these individuals. Uh, you know, I'm getting the signs of the times. All right, we're talking about a warning. Somebody did something and instantly it was rejected or the answer was no. Okay. We have the water element. That's that energy I've been picking up, right? Going with the flow, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I'm getting strong like Piscean energy, but that could be just an indication. Yeah, there we have it. That could be an indication of um, water, movement, emotions. Could be a psychic, doesn't necessarily have to be. All right, so this could be somebody of status or you're being called, like leveled up, um, whoever this is. This is about you trusting your intuition. Um, a lot of you, you're seeing synchronicities uh, such as 11, 22 or numbers that may add up to like 
uh, 11 or 22. Those of you that are into mathematics and things of that sort, you're seeing double numbers such as 44. Now we're talking about making conscious choices in your partnerships. This is about your abundance. This is about you paying attention and being self-aware, the signs of the times, right? So somebody took an aggressive stance towards something. This is somebody that's into some form of studies, occult, esoteric, and all that sim simply mean is the hidden. It doesn't necessarily mean something that is dark, but for some people it is, you know, because we got people that that's into demonology. We have um, theologists and things of that sort, people that are into metaphysics, quantum physics, all the physics here. But the Grand Cross Provoker, this is telling me somebody was tempted to do something or pushed in a different direction. This is about a cycle completing. You may have felt used or you're learning what to use, okay? This could be a, a scenario where it's equal give and take, fair exchange, no robbery, okay? Some of you, this has something to do with your soul contracts. Doesn't necessarily have to be something that is romantic. It could be platonic here, all right? But somebody was sworn not to take an aggressive stance or uh, um, aggressive action, all right? So... I'm picking up that fire element here. So we got Sagittarius with Mars being here. Could be an Aries or a Scorpio. Take it how it resonates. That could also be your moon sign. This could be somebody that um, is triggered here. They don't know why they're triggered. It may have something to do with the full moon activity. There was uh, maybe something that was unclear in the past here. All right. Um, for you to gain this clarity or for this person to gain this clarity, they had to go within. They had to either cut some cords, do a soul retrieval, block off some negative energy, or stop communicating with certain people, pe uh, people that present some sort of illusion. Now, this was a choice that somebody had. So we got clarity here in Aries. My light went off. Ain't that something? So we got clarity in Aries. So what this is giving me is um, somebody was all in their head about a choice to travel. They may have also have been doing that in, in secret. Um, somebody may have cautioned an emperor type of energy. This could be a business owner, male or female, but I'm getting like an emperor, a divine masculine, uh, not to do something. <clears throat> Maybe they're <clears throat> Maybe they were trusting their intuition here. This could be somebody that's tapping into some sort of gift that they may have. With second house, this is about money moves, investments, okay? Um, I'm hearing the finer things in life. Somebody's very rebellious when it comes down to um, their money. Money moves. The second house, that belongs to Taurus. That's about your finances. It's about um, the things that you invest in, uh, your values, morals, beliefs, Okay, so I feel like somebody had a choice here. All right. With Pisces and Aquarius, this is somebody that was under some sort of delusion, illusion. They were creating one or something was creating surrounding this person that had them all in their head, possibly second guessing you, second guessing a lot of different things. And it may have started to affect this person's finances or yours. Take it how it resonates. So I feel like this action has something to do with someone plagiarizing, someone not being authentic here. I feel like I picked up the energy of this reading um, a couple of days ago. So I feel like we're getting a different aspect. Now, the Solar Eclipse Revolution card, we're, we're talking about <laughs> an eye-opening moment. Some of you, you may know this is my heart attack stroke card. If you are experiencing any mental health, physical health, financial health, Seek out the proper authorities. This reading is for entertainment purposes um, only. Somebody's questioning someone's authenticity here. Now, when you question this person or whoever questioned this person, the, they may have started the waterworks here. Uh, south node could be significant. I heard southbound. Okay. 42, 24 could be significant as well as six. 
So this is about somebody's stability. I feel like this person may be a little bit jealous and envious of whoever this is. I'm hearing that's getting ahead of them. This is somebody that's superficial. So I feel like this tower moment has something to do with um, a sudden change in the way somebody views them or the way you view this person. The South Node is an indication for me that somebody's stuck in the past or stuck in a past way of doing things. Okay, this could also... Um, be an indication of somebody that is complacent. Okay, so we got South Node again. All right, so somebody wants you to be in the past or remember something that happened in the past. This person may have selective memory. All right, they may have also wanted you to appear like you were a fraud or you were um, um, unauthentic here. This is someone that is used to playing on people's emotions. This is someone that may have some sort of issue as well. Something caught somebody by um, surprise here. Thunder and lightning. That's my Shango card. All right. So we have Libra. Cooperation to perfect. Uh, could be a collaboration. All right, so somebody made a decision to go against the grain here. All right, this could be somebody that does not have respect for authority. All right, uh, Libra could be indication of a divine feminine type of energy, or this could be an uh, indication that somebody healed here. They got balance. They gained the clarity and the truth that they needed. And this is something that was karmically in alignment. Okay, this person is being guided to move forward or you are. And writing, why is this here? 11.33 on the clock. So we got the seventh house. Now, obviously, <laughs> um, you may need to check your seventh house placements. You may be in alignment with that sun sign. Some of you, it could be Libra. Some of you, it may be Aquarius. But what I'm getting and th is this is affecting contracts, the way you view contracts here partnerships. We've seen the second house earlier. Now we're seeing a, a different aspect of the, um, the second house in a sense where Taurus and Libra, they like two sides of the same coin here, right? So we're talking about justice being restored here and here. Libra rules the uh, se seventh house here. So this is going to affect your partnerships and or your finances, all right. This is somebody's work here. This is something that is documented. Some of you, you may have to go over some form of paperwork. You may be deciding to go rogue or go against the grain, do something different. And this may shock someone. OK, some of you, you may be going over some form of paperwork and you may be finding that there was some sort of a mistake or a hidden clause is what I'm getting. OK, we got some more full uh, energy, somebody moving forward. Solar eclipse. Why is this here? Some of you, you are mastering something. You could be signing uh, contracts, documents, taking ownership, partnering up with people here. Yeah, you're being advised to pay attention. I'm also getting that energy of read the fine print. Some of you, you may be bearing witness to some sort of collaboration. Somebody is having a strong urge to create something here. And this is something that's coming from the divine with the fifth house. This may be affecting your fifth house as well, especially if you are a fire element, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, the fifth house belongs to Leo. OK, this is also about the things that you value, your loved ones, your creativity. This could also be an indication of a soulmate, okay? Or somebody that's reminiscing about you or you reminiscing about someone else, okay? So somebody's being guided to have the trust, the trust of a child, right? Have have trust in this person, trust in this change, trust in what you see, even though it may uh, feel like unrealistic or it may feel other dimensional or something like that. But I feel like somebody's going to gain a, a epiphany here and they're going to see something different. It's almost like they are going to view it with different eyes. OK, um, yeah. Some of you, this is about your dreams coming true. Others of you, you may wake up in the middle of the night here. 
somebody could have be having some sort of nightmare. Um, I don't know why I'm I'm getting like a sense of vertical or somebody falling. Could have something to do with water as well. South Node, why is this here? I feel like somebody forgot something. Some of you, you may be, you may have forgotten something, forgot to sign something. You may have left something on at home. Some of you, you may be backtracking. I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's what I'm getting. Okay, Sagittarius, um, a lot of fire. Okay, a lot of balancing and a lot of passion and movement. Okay, so for some of you, you may have moved to a different location in the past, possibly close to water. Some of you, you may be going out on um, the water. Others of you, you may be questioning, is this person authentic? Maybe they cry a lot or they're very emotional here. Somebody may have also been to some sort of engagement. I don't know why I heard Kinsiana. Um, yeah, take it how it resonates here. So we got Pisces here. So somebody's looking at spirituality different or the way they approach partnerships different. You gain some knowledge over something that took place in the past here. You to show me what it is I need to see. Somebody may also be stuck in the past. Um, I'm getting that whole scenario. Less is more. Somebody may see you as flamboyant or this person is flamboyant. I'm hearing loud and proud. Okay, this is somebody that does it in a big way. Could be a Leo. You may be seen as arrogant or confident um, because you have some sort of status. This is about a gift. Obviously, you could have a sun in Capricorn or a Leo um, sun sign could be moon or rising. Take it how it resonates. Some of you, you may have a mixture of fire and water strong in your uh, birth chart here, at least in the places where it matters, like the seven thousand. Well, all of them matter, but to most people, um, you know, the seventh house, maybe the 12th house, if you're into astrology or esoteric, you do past lives. But the fifth house in the, in the, se in the second house, because that's all about our finances, our money, um, and things of that sort. For some of you, the eighth house could be significant as well. But we're definitely speaking about somebody of status or somebody completing a cycle after they gain, uh, if they gain some information or wisdom about some information of having to do with the past, right? So we got the energy of contracts. All right. So you may be looking at this person as uh, immature. All right. Some of you, you may have failed for the okie doke or this person was falling for the okie doke in the sense where uh, this person may look innocent. They may appear to be innocent. And so they may cry a lot again or they use, uh, you know, emotions people's emotions to manipulate them this has something to do with a contract here somebody could have signed your name on a document all right you also may be signing a contract you may be again needing to read the pot fine print or maybe even have a professional look over it with libra here all right so somebody's healing from some sort of addiction or um illusion OK, this could have something to do with, it, again, with somebody's spiritual practice practices here. But I do feel like somebody is very knowledgeable about the occult. They may have a different approach than someone that uh, is like a spiritual guru or something like that. This person may be able to explain things really well when it comes down to. Uh, words. This may be a good communicator. They may also travel a lot or you travel a lot as well. Okay. So I feel like somebody's deep into their studies. Some of you, you're finding out that you have some sort of bond with this person. Okay. Um, yeah. Somebody may be in the midst of um, a contract here, a legally binding contract, such as marriage. Somebody may be questioning is some form of documentation real. That's all I'm getting here. Um, yeah. So this is surrounded somebody's foundation, obviously somebody's home, um, their support system, soul tribe could also have something to do with your ancestors here. Yeah. 
So for some of you, this is your ancestors. Others of you, this is like a, a matriarch, matriarch. We got the matriarch here and we got the patriarch there. Okay, so somebody may feel like home. Somebody could be traveling back home. You could be this mother type of energy, nurturing type of person, or this has something to do with a feminine principle here. Okay. Okay, so we got some more Aquarius energy with the 11th house. So this is talking about your group, your circle, people that you go out with, explore with, possibly even party, travel with here. So you're going to gain some sort of knowledge about a cycle that closed here. Yeah, you may have been confused or this person was confused why a cycle closed or how you gain some form of status. This would be somebody that didn't have no problem with letting you go. Okay, yeah. So I feel like this person knew who you were. Um, there was some sort of illusion presented or this person was trying to mask themselves. Maybe they didn't want you to know who they were. This could be somebody that is um, a celebrity with Capricorn being here or this is someone that people lean on for stability. Oh, yeah. This is somebody that does do, does things differently. Even when it comes down to their finances, this person may work online. You may work online or somebody could be going into some form of uh, work online. OK. There was some sort of change in a contract, whether if it's a marriage, um, the way somebody views marriage partnerships. Going over paperwork, realizing that there was some sort of mistake. This could also be somebody figuring out, gaining a different perspective of a past cycle, and finally learning the lesson and, and healing from some sort of illusion or delusion that they may have been under. Why is Libra here? Somebody may be questioning, is a healer? Um, or is some paperwork authentic is, is also what I'm getting. So we got the moon card. There was a lot, a lot hidden. Um, some of you who I don't know what this is like. I'm, I'm seeing the thunder and I'm seeing the darkness. Right. So some of you, you may be in an area where it's thundering and lightning. Um, and it may be like darkness, like instant darkness. I'm picking up the energy of something like. Um, what is the place that's dark? Like six, I believe it's six months out of the year. Um, I'm getting like Eskimos, but that's not it. But some of you, you may know what I'm talking about. Um, you can put it in the comment section. All right. So a lot, a lot of things was hidden. Okay. Your healing may have been hidden. Something about a marriage or a contract was hidden. This was karma. With the six of wands being here, somebody gained a victory. Somebody may be trying to figure out how you know about something that was hidden with the moon card here in the six of wands. This could be a feminine principle. But this could also be somebody healing, like instantly healing. They may be trying to figure out how you healed Somebody wants to heal something with you. This is burdening this person. A cycle is complete. And I feel like that's the fate. That, that's the fate that led someone um, to this destined path here. Somebody made the right choice at the right time. They took accountability and or responsibility for what was taking place in their environment. I apologize for that. Somebody was calling me, so I'm at the... Call this person back. Why is the seventh house here? Six of Cups. Okay. So someone that you may have left was doing something or this person left. Um, they could have partnered up with other people. They did something in secret to block off someone's destiny or to make someone appear unstable and balanced this could also have been somebody that did some false police re reports or something like that okay this is somebody that had unrealistic expectations if this has something to do with the legality 
This could also be an indication of a marriage. I feel like somebody may have doctored up some sort of paperwork to have somebody bound and restricted, possibly even in incarcerated. Yeah, let's put this here. Yeah, somebody's trying to figure out how someone knows about a past event that somebody, something that somebody did illegal to gain some sort of victory, to keep somebody from moving forward. Uh, yeah, there was some sort of change that happened here surrounding a family dynamic. This could be a marriage. This could be, again, uh, the way somebody views marriage. And we definitely have, we got six of cups here, six of cups here in the form of six of cups there. So this could be somebody that you have a child with or they have a child with. This is about somebody moving forward, taking action, recognizing that this is like a journey of the soul. Somebody knows what a soulmate did in the past to gain an empty victory. Why is Sagittarius here? So we have the Knave of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So this could be something that a mother and a, and a son did, or uh, this could be two people that have like a lust-based connection that were possibly working together to present some form of illusion having to do with the underworld with Beelzebub here, Beelzebub there. This is about some work that somebody did that possibly backfired. This could also have been someone that didn't want you to invest in someone else or this was like a one-sided relationship. Somebody was very selfish. Somebody was struggling with some sort of contract or agreement that they made with someone that was dark or something. Okay. Yeah. Oh, mm. okay. Who somebody's realizing that somebody was trying to offer somebody up to some dark energy. Why is uh Saturn here? The high priestess. Here we have it. Obviously, this is something that was done in secret. Um, I feel like somebody wanted to block somebody's intuition with the high priest, the water, and Saturn here. It was to keep somebody from moving forward. I feel like I'm double talking here or saying, yeah. It was to keep somebody moving forward. This would be somebody that was attracted to you. I feel like somebody wants somebody to stay in this immature like state um, so they can dominate this person. This is also someone that uses lust as a means to control someone. Could also money could also be a factor. And somebody's gaining some wisdom over somebody that you were sleeping with or they were sleeping with um, in the past here. I'm getting the energy of like addiction. Somebody has addictive behavior or pattern. Okay, this is about somebody's wish fulfillment. Somebody wanted somebody to come back. Why is Neptune here? Come on, man. We got, here we go with the squats. So we're definitely speaking about a collaboration that's burdening someone or they wanted this empress to feel burdened here. They were trying to punish someone. Okay, so we got the world card here. Oof. So somebody didn't learn a lesson. Okay, we got the queen of chalices in reverse. We're definitely speaking about emotional man, uh, manipulation. Somebody that's codependent, clingy, smothering. And this is also someone that has some form of addiction here. This is... Uh, individual that is experiencing bad luck. We got the we got the wheel of fortune. 
and the world card? Somebody's stuck in their own delusion here. This person may have repeatedly did something to make you seem unstable. Now, this energy is stuck with this person. It's starting to affect the way they think, the way people look at them. Um, this is something that's obvious in this individual's environment or in your environment here. This is somebody that has violent outbursts. This has something to do with some energy going back with the Eight of Wands here in reverse. Somebody's feeling frustrated. They're having problems moving forward or thinking straight here. This is something, um, yeah, somebody was trying to delay you or this person is delayed here. Yeah. And here we have it with the, for some of you, this is a soulmate or they were working with a soulmate of yours or theirs uh, with the Six of, of Cups. I mean, the six of pentacles okay this is somebody that was doing a lot in secret this person has a lot of debt okay they were they were putting a lot out here working with a soulmate here oh yeah didn't i just say this person has a lot of debt okay um hold on y'all y'all okay so somebody was truly investing a lot in a partnership and didn't get much in return with the five of pentacles. As a matter of fact, this person took, took on somebody else's bad health, somebody's poverty consciousness, okay, um, worry and isolation. They took a really major financial hit, okay? Um, somebody could have been using someone else's money to invest in some sort of sorcery or some sort of illusion. And now this person is experiencing bad luck, okay? With the Wheel of Fortune um, in reverse, this is something that's out of this person's control. And it could be happening to a group of people here. Somebody took on too much, okay? Somebody's realizing that you're not the one to play with or whoever this is is not the one to uh, play with. As a matter of fact, um, with the hangman being here, you may have gained some new skill or in the pos or you are in the process of gaining a new skill or you're approaching something different with the hangman being here, okay? And the sun right there, all right? So we are going to get... Some parting energies for this reading, right? I don't feel like I need to go into this any further. Um, part two of this reading will be available to all tiers. So if you are on tier one, if you would like to, to be a part of tier one, go ahead and check the description box below. All right. Of course, this is, again, available to all of the members here, all right? Ethan, show me what it is I need to see. We got, I care for the earth and receiving wisdom. Bring to mind someone you respect or someone who has made a positive impact on your life. What wisdom, knowledge, or advice might this person share uh, with you that could benefit you right now. What I care for the earth, we're definitely speaking about like-minded people um, meeting each other, okay? I'm hearing something about a chance, a, ch a chance, time or something. Ethan, show me. Okay, so this is about you being open to the possibilities. Now, obviously with the story time and the live broadcast, somebody is like a social media influencer, okay? Uh, you may be sharing a story, like literally sharing a story. You may watch this person, all right? So, again, somebody could be reminiscent. You don't choose your history. How do past hurts inform who you are today? How have they affected the choices you made? Notice the stories you, your mind creates to explain who you are. And so I feel like somebody like... Um, over dramatizes things okay uh, especially with all this water and authenticity here and somebody being caught off guard now this could be a family dynamic that is caught off guard but <clears throat> by some sort of truth that is revealed 
okay? Especially after someone gained uh, a different perspective. With the high priestess being here, they could have been doing this to someone that has some spiritual gift. And when they did whatever they did to this person, it opened up a whole Pandora's box and um, things from this person's past started trickling out, all right? With live broadcasts, we got listen to your mind like a radio playing in the background. It broadcasts thoughts, judgments, feelings, sensations, and memories. Notice what your mind broadcasts. You are separate from it and listen can, and you can listen to it live. And then we have role models. So this is definitely speaking about somebody that has some sort of status, somebody that is gaining status. This could also be someone that has a different belief system than whoever this is. Okay, would hold it lightly and I honor animals with reverence. Um, we're definitely speaking about somebody that not that's not letting something affect like weigh heavy on their heart. Okay, yeah, light up the darkness. So this is something or someone that you were meant to encounter this lifetime. You may have a past life with this person if you believe in past lives. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and head on over to the behind the scenes deuces oh check the description box below for a link to the behind the scenes and or you can click, click on my picture it'll take you to my main page and you click on any one of the membership videos and it'll give you instructions deuces